Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And today I am going to answer one of my most asked questions. Um, and that is how do you take pictures of your cups? So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do that. Um, and hopefully you get some helpful tips and tricks out of this video. So all of the equipment used in this video will be linked in the description box below. And of course, if you have any questions or suggestions, put them down in the comments. I am very active down there and I'm happy to help. So let's get started. All right, you guys, so here is the setup. This is what it looks like um, when I take pictures of my cups. So I live in Washington State. I don't have the luxury of daylight. <laughs> so I've set up a lot of lights and um, all of them are absolutely necessary, I found, when getting the perfect shot of my cups. Um, I've got a piece of scrapbook paper here um, against like a canvas and this is just leaned up against my laptop. We've got a ring light tripod here. I've got uh, two um, like bedside lamps that have special bulbs in them which I'll go over in a minute. And then I've got two continual lighting photography um, light boxes here. Um, and so all of these things combined um, are what create a great shot when taking uh, pictures of the cups. And so, um, so you have overhead light, we have light side to side, I have light coming from the back, just every direction is light. So that's really what I want for getting a good shot with the cups. All right, guys, so here is like a raw, unedited view of what it looks like when I'm photographing my cups. Um, this is no flash, no filter. Um, it's just really that bright and sparkly. Um, I don't use a light box um, because I actually like to see glare on my cups in the photos, and I feel like sometimes the light box takes away that glare. Um, the reason that I like the glare is it shows, you know, the gloss in your finish and, and all of that. So you can really see, um, you know, the detail in that. So that's really, I mean, all it is is just, you know, we've got all the lights here. I've got, you know, my fur little rug thing. I've got my little background here so in case I want to do you know some kind of like close-up angle shot I'll kind of crop that background um, so it kind of looks something like this um, and so really it's it's that simple and there's pretty minimal editing um, that I have to do on the pictures in the video with this kind of setup um, the lights that we use in our lamps, which I think are the most important part of this setup, are these Fiat Electric um, LED dimmable bulbs. Um, and so the Vivid Natural Light, the 5000K five, Daylight, the 1600 Lumens, um, those are all like the kind of specs that you'll want to look for. If you want to get these same bulbs, which I highly, highly recommend, um, I will link these in the description box. You can get them on Amazon. Okay. And that's what we have in these two, uh, lamps here. Um, so I, when I used to do, um, the pictures in my bathroom, I would have these two lamps on the counter and then I'd have three of these bulbs um, in the vanity light up above. But now that we're in the garage and I have a little more room, <clears throat> I do like having this full setup with the continual lighting so that I have them from all four sides and then this little guy, he, it's probably overkill to have this, honestly, but I do like it. Um, 
just to add some extra brightness and because I have it, so I use it. Um, but that's about it. And so next we'll go over um, how I edit my photos um, and what apps I use to do that. So stick around. All right guys, so what I use to edit my uh, pictures is this app called Color Story. Um, I think it's free, but don't quote me on that. Um, and here's what it looks like when you open up the app. We're just gonna click on new and then select the photo that um, you wanna work with. Um, and I usually just go straight down to filters. Um, but in this case, I'm gonna rotate it. <laughs> Um, so this app is great because it has so many great options for editing your photos all in one place. And it's really, I've, I found the only one that I need. Um, also it allows me to edit video as well. So it will edit the light in a video up to 60 seconds, um, which is super helpful. So depending on the color a cup that I'm editing, kind of depends on which um, filter I use. I kind of jump between light bright and pop. Um, those are both uh, filters that come with a standard version. You don't have to pay for an upgrade on those. And I'll show you guys too uh, what it looks like um, when I edit kind of a darker cup. So it's basically just the same. It's just I typically almost always use the pop filter um, when I'm editing like a darker colored cup that's got a lot of contrast and a lot of different color glitter. Um, so after I select the filter, I'll kind of just play with the levels a little bit. Um, and then I'll usually go into uh, adjust and I will change the contrast a little bit. Um, I usually increase the saturation and the vibrance just a smidge. And um, it automatically saves each editing profile for the day. So I'll show you here in a little bit what I mean by that so that you're not, if you're editing like a large batch of photos, you're not gonna have to go in and do the same steps every time it'll save the steps that uh, you used for the day. So I'll show you when I go in to do a new one. We'll just select the same cup, just at a different angle. And then see here, it's got recent steps. It's got one that I used today. So we're gonna use that. Click on use and then click the little um, check mark and it'll apply the same steps that we used uh, for the last edit. And you can see all the other edits that I did earlier today too. So that's good and I like the way that looks. We're just gonna uh, hit just save. All right, so now I'll show you guys uh, how I put the watermark on my photos. So like my little logo. Um, I use the over app to do this. Um, there's a lot of different watermark apps that you could use. This one just happens to be my favorite because um, I use it for a lot of things in my business. So you're just gonna click on image. It'll take you to your photos. You'll select the um, photo that you wanna watermark. I'm just gonna do default sizing. All right, and then you're gonna click on image and then go in and find your watermark that you have saved to your phone. You, If you were just using this app for the first time, you won't have all that stuff saved under logos. Um, you've got to go in and do that uh, separately. So I just size and drag where I want um, my watermark until I like it and just hit save. Um, and that's Pretty much about it. I will do an over app tutorial in the future where we can go more into depth on how this app works. But that pretty much concludes my process on how I get um, photos of my cups. Um, I hope you guys were able to get something out of this. Um, and if you've been struggling 
with getting good pictures of your cups before. Um, hopefully this will help you out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, remember to like our videos, put something in the comments for us. And if you love our channel, please subscribe. See you guys later. If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.